Hey, it's so awesome you guys are here for today's celebration. My name is Jayla and I'm your host for church today. Now, you may be wondering, how can I call this church when we're not in a building? Well, actually, the church isn't a building at all. The church is people. You heard me right. I am the church and you are the church. In fact, everyone around the world who follows Jesus is the church. So today, let's celebrate the awesome things that we, the church, get to do together, even when we're not in the same building. We'll play some games, sing a song, check out one of my favorite stories from the Bible, and of course, pray. Now, it's time for some games because what's a celebration without any games? The people who make up the church are the most fun people on the planet. So let's play three games together. Some of you may be tuning in from a big city, and if so, you'll really enjoy this first game. You'll listen to a sound that you might hear in a city. And when you think you know what the sound is, shout it out. Ready? Let's play. Okay, it's time for game number two. If you live near the mountains, this is a game you could play in the winter. When I say go, see if you can guess what is being drawn in the snow. Ready, set, go. place where there's a lot of water, like near a lake or a beach? Well, if you call the beach home, you might recognize some of the places in this next game. You'll see a picture up on the screen, and somewhere in that picture, there's a coconut hiding. See if you can find it before the timer runs out. church and you are fun. Another thing we can celebrate about being the church is that we get to worship God together even when we're not in the same building. Worshiping God is simply anything we do to show God we love him. God has done so much to show his love to us like sending his son Jesus to take the punishment for our sins and bringing him back to life. Since God loves us so much, let's show him our love by singing right now. Yeah. Give up 
Get up, let's get it started Time to move around, let's have a party Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Now stop and clap it out Now stop and stomp it out Now stop and bounce it out Now stop and shout it out Get up, jump up, turn up and dance Gonna praise you, Jesus, with all that I am Get up, jump up, turn up and dance Gonna praise you, Jesus, with all that I am Come on, get up, let's get it started Time to move around, let's have a party Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Now stop and clap it out Now stop and stomp it out Now stop and bounce it out Now stop and shout it out Here. Worshiping and singing together is one of my favorite things about the church. And that's something the church has been doing since it first started about 2,000 years ago. Let's see what else the people in the first church did. Here, take a look at this true story from a book in the Bible called Acts. The church is the building we go to when we want to learn about God. Nope. This is a church. Those are people. Yep. In fact, it's you and me. You kind of lost me. The church isn't a building. The church is the people who have made Jesus the leader of their lives. And that's us. We don't go to church. We are the church. And we exist for the world. Oh, okay. I still don't get it. Let's look in the book of Acts. That's where the Bible talks about the very first church. The people who first believed in Jesus. They didn't have buildings to meet in, so they met where they could, usually in people's homes. So their church was a house? Nope, the church met in houses. Even then, the church was the people. And the apostles taught them many things about God. They did great and wonderful things with God's power. God did amazing things through everyone in the church. Through all the people? How? The people of early church put others first. They prayed together, they shared meals, they shared their time, they shared everything. Everything? Really? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. The Bible tells us that when one of them needed something, others shared what they had. They even sold things and used the money to help out. That's amazing. That's putting others first. The early church was really good at it. For instance, this one guy, Joseph, sold a field and brought the money to the people of the church to help those who needed it. Awesome! What made them do that? They all agreed. They all wanted to live like Jesus, and the apostles told them how Jesus put others first when he died on the cross and went up to heaven. The early church learned about Jesus and lived like him, so they put others first. I think I get it. Great! But you haven't heard the best part. When others saw how those first church people lived, it made them want to follow Jesus too. In fact, more people decided to follow Jesus every single day. Wow, God did do amazing things through the first church people. And God still does amazing things through his people when they live like Jesus and put others first. Right, because we are the church. And we exist for the world. The 
church isn't a building, it's people. And more than that, it's made up of people who love God and love others. Take a few minutes to think and talk about some ways you can love God and love others. It sounds like you guys have some great ideas for how to love God and love others. When you do those two things, you are being the church. So here's what you need to know today. I am. I am. The church. The church. Say it again after me like you really believe it. I am. I am. The church. The church. Great job. Now, there's one last thing left to celebrate. It's something the church always does together, and that's pray. Next up are some ways that you, the church, can pray. I'm gonna be thinking about these things too. And I can't wait to see how God answers our prayers. See ya, church.